Hey folks, welcome to 26 Degrees. This door has been open for a while. Oh, look at this. My batteries are all charged up. The sun came out. Gotta love it. Right, minus 5 degrees Celsius. It's about 3 o'clock. It is the 6th of January, Tuesday. So welcome back to the Horde. I wonder if this is even... I keep saying 32. thing might be stuck there. <clears throat> anyway, I'm kind of wrapping it up for the week. Um, for work, I got two 12-hour days in front of me. Not a, not a big deal. Just that's what it is, right? So I got two 12-hour days, and then I'll probably be back Tuesday or uh, Thursday. Let's see, uh, working Wednesday, Thursday night. Probably I'll be back Friday. Friday night, right? Friday afternoon, Friday night. Hopefully I'll have something significant worked out. We'll come up with a video for then. Um, just what am I doing? I'm just finishing up. And back to this beast. Back to the golf cart. That's now also getting covered with crap. Remember we went through these calculations that that we ran over there, right? My buddy and I spun both wheels and we determined it was 12 to 1. The motor has to turn 12 times for the back tires to go around once. And given that the electric motor was spinning at 2,800 RPM and we went through all those calculations and we came up with this golf cart moving about 13 miles per hour, which makes sense. That's about how fast a easy go golf cart goes and that's kind of important because now that I kind of know what I got I want to go forward so if I move the tire circumference from five foot to five foot nine right so if I go from this tire right which is your standard Uh, what is the size on this beast? Right. 16.5 by 8. 5 by 8. Right, so if I go, oh, it's, excuse me, it's 18.5 by 8.5 by 8. If I go from there to your standard quad tire or three wheel tire, tire. This is a scorpion, but it's a uh, 22 by 10 by 8. I think 22, 8 by 10 is about the same. Um, anyway, it goes from approximately a tire circumference of 5 foot to 5.9, which is 5 and 3 quarters feet. And you do the math, it comes up to about 15 miles per hour. And if I take the RPM from the electric motor, which was uh, 2800, right? See that right there, electric motor, 2800. Your standard Briggs and Stratton spins at about 3600. I get up to about 20 miles per hour. A couple of other things. <clears throat> if I'm running through the Briggs and Stratton with the standard torque converter on it, that's about a one-to-one -one gear ratio. Um, theoretically, you can overdrive a torque converter and get slightly more than that. But let's just, for the sake of uh, discussion here, let's go with a one-to-one -one gear ratio for the torque converter. So now I'm running 3,600 into that shaft. If I put a transmission between that shaft and the torque converter, now I have to figure out what that transmission is going to do to me and for me. Obviously a transmission will get me reversed, so I really do want to use that. A transmission will also um, typically um, high speed, like if you put it in fifth, typically that gear ratio is somewhere about a one to one. So in fifth gear, she'll be able to do somewhere around 20 miles per hour according to my calculations which means um, first gear 
I'm once again I really don't know how much it gears it down I don't know if it divides that by five or ten um, but a uh, top speed of 20 to 25 20 20 is really not bad so 20 to 25 is more than fast enough um, 25 is on this thing beating about especially with no back suspension and all 25 would be pretty fast for it um, I just my my next thing is I need to get the transmission in here and start turning the shaft and seeing which th way things go I also have to turn the shaft on that guy um, to see which way it goes and once again transmission because it would really suck to put this thing together and have five speeds in reverse and uh, one very very slow speed in forward that would like really suck um, I mean it wouldn't wouldn't be the end of the world I would just have to tear things apart a couple of comments um, there was a comment about uh, this uh, is this rear end strong enough for the extra speed and all the other things to go from you know 12 13 miles per hour 13 miles per hour up to somewhere around 20 I think it'll take that um, these golf carts have big fat guys with golf clubs who get drunk and beat the hell out of them all day long and they seem to they seem to last for years and years so I'm thinking it's fairly well made <clears throat> right you don't you don't see them all blown up on the side of uh, of sand pits with blown rear ends from guys jumping on the gas pedal right um, though a two a two horse electric motor when you jump on the gas pedal from a torque point of view has more than two horsepower um, not for long it starts getting hot and the batteries start bubbling instead of putting out power but um, y you know initially f the first couple of times you romp on it uh, you, you will actually get more than two horsepower out of the uh, out of the electric motor um, so I, I think I think it'll take the speed for a while about the torque just the little bit I touched that and turned the shaft on it and all that it didn't feel very heavy right um, so I would be nervous like if I I were to put a 20 horsepower on this thing I think it would break I'm pretty sure it would break um, or if um, I, I said if I set it up with a centrifugal clutch that that doesn't apply torque all that fast um, a torque converter though there is more torque it once again normally it doesn't apply it all that fast it doesn't slam it but if I were to put a tractor transmission in it and put a clutch pedal such that I could gun up the engine to 3600 and dump, dump the clutch to me just from handling it from turning the shaft there and all that I'm I'm not sure how long it would hold up this kind of an aluminum casing feels like kind of felt like needle bearings um, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure just beating on it eventually it would develop play and once once you got play there sooner or later when you drop the clutch you would have something slip and break so I I, I wouldn't feel that that would be wise um, I'm just hoping that everything kind of turns in this direction which is um, goodness that's the way I need it to go for forward and and all that so I'm hoping everything kind of turns in that direction um, if the rear end blows up with everything turning in that direction theoretically off the transmission I could just um, chain drive it to a, a solid rear end on you know these pillow bearings wherever I lost them there they are on these uh, on these pillow bearings right theoretically um, I could I could do that so blowing up the rear end there is a uh, there is a better solution what do I get by keeping this rear end this rear end has a differential in it 
I kind of like the idea of a differential for um, for running it around the lawn for tight corners and all that. Differential makes life a little bit easier uh, for donuts in the snow. A differential is is more fun too. Um, I don't have to break both wheels loose. Uh, also, the differential, though, it will change a little bit. It kind of gives it more of a sleeper, kind of. It's more of a sleeper, I guess, in my mind. Anyway, I've been babbling for ten minutes. Just a few more thoughts on the uh, on the golf cart, just so that you guys could see that I'm I'm moving forward. Uh, what I what I need to do is dig the engine I'm going to use and the torque converter I'm going to use out of the shed. I got to dig the transmission up, which is going to be a real joy in the snow. I got to pull that off the tractor and kind of lie it alongside. Then I have to make sure what direction all the shafts are going when I want to be going forward and when I want to be going reverse, so that all of that stuff actually works. Um, and depending really what I find out from shaft direction, it'll tell me whether I have to put the engine this way or that way, so to speak, right? Um, whether I have it facing kind of forward or facing backwards, um, that's that that would more or less fix things. But uh, you can see I do have a certain amount of space considerations and junk like that. All right, folks, uh, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and remember to enjoy all your days. So this stuff is moving along. I am I told you it was going to be kind of a long-term project. And interspersed with this was garage cleanups and messing with this engine and other things. So uh, for anybody who has a short attention span like I do. It's nice to have a bunch of projects going on all at once. It makes life a lot more interesting. Okay, folks, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing once again, and make sure you have fun on all your days. Bye now.